Deleting groups is a destructive process in Brightspace, so we would like to talk about what the implications are. If you have just created groups and you realize you don't need them anymore, that is easy to delete. Click on the Groups link for your site, select the groups, all or some of them with the checkboxes, and then Delete. You're warned that, when you delete these groups, that this will also delete assignment submission folders and discussion topics. But since you've just set up the groups, this is not a problem, so you can go ahead. It is a problem, however, if you have already created assignment submission folders joined to these groups. Many times, when we set up groups, we also create these submission folders for the groups to submit their work to. Should you go delete these groups, those submissions also go away. If students have already uploaded work into their submission folders, that uploaded work will also go away. And similarly, any discussion forums that you have set up will also be removed, so think carefully before you delete your groups. Recovering data from such a deletion step is unfortunately not possible. A recommended strategy is to simply rename the groups to something beginning with an underscore or a Z, so that when they are sorted, they appear at the very top or the very bottom and you can ignore them. When the course is completed and all the grades are submitted, then you might want to consider deleting the groups. Even then, please take note that you may need to keep some work for evidence for accreditation or audits in the future. So do not remove these groups unless you are certain that you have a copy of the work. When your course is rerun in following years, the groups are not transferred over. So in future years, you do have the chance to set it up the way you need it again without having the prior year's groups being imported over.